I just want to let people know that you're probably not going to make six figures at your first dev job being self-taught, a boot camp graduate, or even a college graduate. Getting a six-figure job as your first job is pretty hard. And yeah, if you land the job at a fan company, you might make that. But then again, it's relative to the cost of living. So you probably have to make six figures to work where most fangs are because cost of living in those places like the Bay Area or Seattle and Silicon Valley are all really, really high. So you can get a junior developer job or a job right out of college in San Francisco and make 100 or 120 grand. And it's not a lot of money in those areas. But most places, most normal cities that aren't super expensive to live in, you're not going to make a hundred grand your first job with no experience, but you still can make a decent salary at your first developer job coming out of a boot camp or being self-taught. And I would say that you're probably more realistically looking at like anywhere between 30 to 80,000, 30 being on the super low end. And I don't suggest that anyone take a $30,000 a year job unless it's way better than what you're doing now, because that's really, really low, even for no experience as a junior developer. I would say the sweet spot for someone who has no experience at all, but is self-taught, has a good portfolio and knows their stuff and makes a good candidate for a junior developer role should make about like 50 or 60. If you make that at your first job, I would be happy with that. It's very close to what I made at my first job. And I would say that that's a decent starting salary. And it's actually a good starting salary because a lot of people don't make that much money. And if you're a college graduate, I would probably shoot a little bit higher just because you've got a ton of student loan debt probably. And having that degree kind of does make you a little bit more valuable, but I wouldn't suggest lowballing yourself if you're self-taught or a boot camp graduate for like $30,000 a year. So I would tend to kind of shoot a little bit higher for your first developer role and what you should make. I just wanted to say, if you're coming into learning how to code and you want to get a job as a programmer, and this is something that you really want to do, and your motivating factor is that you think you're going to make a hundred or $120,000 a year after learning for three or six months or a year, or however long it takes you to learn and get your first job, I just want to keep it real and let you know that you're probably not going to make that at your first job but you still can make a decent wage and a good living with your first job and most people that are learning how to code uh, aren't really making a career shift from one high paying job to another a lot of us like me actually went into development and got a huge pay raise right away because we weren't making that much beforehand and if you are making a lateral move salary wise and you're trying to like make 80 or $90,000 a year at your first junior developer job or your first role as a software developer somewhere because you're already in a field that pays you well, it may be a little bit harder for you to make that much when you first start. And you might have to consider maybe lowering your cost of living or saving up a little bit while you learn how to code in order for you to be able to take a pay cut when you get that first job and then just expect to be able to potentially double your salary within the first two or three years of you having professional experience as a software developer. Everybody knows that the best way to get a raise as a programmer is to find the new job. And many devs go from getting like 50 grand at their first job to making a hundred grand at their second job after a couple years of experience. So that's something to keep in mind and just look at this as a long-term investment in yourself. And a few years down the road, you will be making potentially more than what you're making now. And if you're coming in working retail or low paying jobs and you're hearing like 40 or $50,000 a year and you're hearing a hundred grand a year and you're hearing those numbers and it's huge to you, I get it. I was the same way, but just know it's going to take you a while to build up to that high of a salary. And I know a few self-taught developers personally who have a lot of experience and have been working in the industry for a long time. I'm talking like between five and 10 years of experience and I know what they make and they do very well. And they're definitely in the six figure range and they make really good money and have great jobs that pay them well and have a ton of benefits. So just keep that in mind that, that you may not make that kind of money right away, but if you stick with it after enough time, 
you can. And after I've been doing this for about four years, I'm getting really close to the six figure mark. And that's pretty cool considering that I'm a high school dropout. I have a GED. I've never stepped foot inside of a community college or a university. And I just did this on my own self-taught. All right. I think that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to hear more about how I learned how to code or self-taught programmer tips and tricks and whatever I talk about on this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out some more of my other videos that might be right up your alley. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.